the beautiful melody of three kids screaming. We love to see it. We love to hear it. Ooh! We gave her the bites. You won't even notice it when it comes by. It's just a couple rampages per week. You know, it's nothing much. Let's go ahead and age the last one up. It is a beautiful winter day in the beautiful abandoned town of Moonwood Mill. We have this abandoned building that is still not completed because we have lack of funds and still has Christmas decorations up. But let's just see what is going on in there. It is the agitating sound of screaming children. We just love to see it. We have Lou, who is very tense because he just had an unwanted child. And then we have Luna, who is tense because she's not getting promoted at work. And then we have not one, not two two not three but four babies so there's a lot to unpack there's a lot going on okay the baby drama is finally over and for luna that finally means that she can start getting her promotion she's gonna start working on climbing the werewolf ladder we are almost apexes for the pack we are omegas which is still the lowest and if you remember in the last episode rory oklo requested that luna report to her for disciplinary actions it is best not to keep her waiting we are very upset about that because we are having a child a full-on child and she wanted to discipline us so we are not happy about that so i have actually bought ourselves the punching bag from the new werewolf pack and we are going to start practicing punching we're just gonna act like that is the face of rory that's just rory's face and we're gonna be punching her several times because we are very upset as for lou oh he's feeling flirty but he also has difficult feelings it is hard to be near a child who inspires much more panic than sad and sadness than it does joy it's not the child's fault, it's not necessarily the parent's fault either. When Luther tried to explain to others, he would be met with nothing but horror and judgment. Yeah, how is one supposed to force themselves to not feel the sadness that they feel? For all the four of them, he actually hasn't accepted. He couldn't accept the pregnancy before we had the kid. So, if you hover over this, we have attempt to bond with Rudy. But now that he has the difficult feelings, it says he doesn't feel like interacting with the baby right now. But he can still bottle feed them and change the diapers, which we will really need. So, get to changing diapers. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I just heard a howl from one of them. I do not know who it was from, but I do know that there is a chance that they are not all werewolves. Some of them may or may not be werewolves. So, we have to check up on that when they age up to toddlers which is going to happen this saturday i think oh my gosh the calendar is so complicated now i'm just gonna filter that yeah so their birthday is going to be on saturday so we should get ready for that and we should also try to make him bond with them before saturday i don't know how hard that is going to be but we will try as for her i'm just gonna focus on her career and her werewolf life for her aspiration we still have to turn sims into werewolves and my plan for that is during her criminal career i'm gonna get her to meet her co-worker and then we're gonna invite them over and we're gonna give them the cursed bite i think that sounds you know really big brain so i'm gonna be doing that but for now i'm just gonna keep this man with the four kids and honestly taking care of four kids is gonna take so long i'm gonna hire a nanny even though we do not have the money for it we are going to hire a child a, a nanny not a child okay yes punch rory's face babes what is that we have a lot to do if that is how you plan on punching Rory. Where is the nanny? Please come. This man is going through a lot. Luna has work in an hour and she has to do some serious interactions. So I'm going to get her to become partners in crime with Lou. He actually has the kleptomaniac trait. So he's very on board to becoming our partner in crime. Thank you very much for the $2,500 actually. We just got that inheritance notification. And we will be taking it because we need the money more than anything else. Ooh. Plan to pull a llama into the workspace let's do that that sounds very interesting she's going to work and she couldn't finish her mischievous interactions okay that's fine but as you have work in 16 hours you should be writing some jokes why are you sad did one of her mischievous interactions hurt him i do not know so he can attempt to bond with zev okay that did not work whatsoever i'm gonna get him to con write his jokes okay okay congratulations on the new addition to the family are you really happy for us are you rory we are done with the wild fangs we are not done with the wild fangs we are done with rory we friendship over 
no longer best friends we hate you we are coming for you okay we are coming for your position in the wild fangs we do not accept your congratulations and somehow this angel of a man is dealing with four kids two of them screaming at the top of their lungs and he still has a smile on his face so you know fair play to you fair play he's still sad about having difficult feelings about his children and i do not appreciate the fact that i have to do all this for the both of them so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave the wild fans with lou and we're just gonna say that he wants to take more time to focus on getting to be accustomed to his kids and also focusing on his family now because now he has a full family of six so He's gonna have to take care of them. So that's the reason we're going to be leaving the wild fans with Lou. So I'm going to invite Rory over later and we can do that. A few moments later. Now that Lou is in a better mood, he can attempt to bond with Zev. So that's what I've got him to do. He still has the tense feelings when he's around the four of them. And honestly, I would too, honestly. Having four, I would also feel very tense. But he's going to try nonetheless. And it's also a full moon. So so we should be very wary of that. What a beautiful angel. Taking only $72 for like taking care of four kids. You are absolutely god sent. But I'm going to pause that right now because that is an annoying sound. But we got a notification that Luna met Nancy while at work. Nancy Langrab is perfect for the criminal lifestyle. We are going to invite her over and then we are going to give her the cursed bite. Emergent situation. Luna is bleeding. This feels like much more than regular postpartum bleeding. She knows to what <laughs> she needs to go to the hospital immediately that is definitely not good she's having she's feeling very dizzy due to severe blood loss she should go to the hospital sooner okay i'm not sure maybe we should call her back right now leave early thank you very much thank you okay babes please get home right away this criminal career doesn't pay doesn't pay at all how long has it been luna can't help but wonder if this career is right for her one thing is for sure, there needs to be some kind of change. So we really need to work on our promotion. She's feeling really dazed right now. I don't know which mod is responsible for this. It's either the healthcare redox mod or the realistic childbirth mod. I'm sorry, babes, but you're just going to have to... You're going to have to, like, endure it because I can't find an option for that. So... I'm sorry, I apologize. Oh, go to the hospital. It's right there. Egypts. That's a lot of money. That's four hundred dollars. No, we hate to see it. Let your father work. Zev, look at what you've done. You've woken up Rudy. He was having a little sleep, and you decided to wake him up. Now they're all wild in, uh, and he's trying to work. He's like, no, I'm not ready for this. But at least now he's like working on his jokes, is getting rid of his difficult feelings. So that's kind of nice. Surgery results. Luna's bleeding was immense, but the doctors worked tirelessly and were able to get it under control and administered contracting medications which are working as intended. Luna should be just fine, but definitely needs to take it easy. But second chance surgery from life saving surgery. So she could have died. Price is averted luckily luna's post-surgical pain is worth it for the peace of mind and life-sustaining miracle of modern medicine that saved their life so we're gonna have to take it easy but i'm gonna get her to go to bed immediately because she needs to rest and look at lou trying his best but it's just not enough the beautiful melody of three kids screaming we love to see it we love to hear it Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. It took a bit of time, but Lou is now at peace with his child. He will now do his best to be a good parent to Zev. I've got him to interact with Zev a lot more. And he has finally accepted Zev, but we still have to do that for three other kids. So, yikes. And she can't, she can't get some rest because they are screaming so loud. I think Otsana is a werewolf. But anytime she starts crying, I hear the howl. So I think she's going to be a werewolf, but I'm not sure about the rest of them. Can you please shut up and let Luna have some sleep? We need to transform. We're going to give the cursed bite to Nancy today. So please shut up. Please shut up. Where is my nanny? Please come over. I am not dealing with this today. No, I am not. She's not going to be able to like stay in bed because they are so loud. Yeah, she can't stay in bed. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's actually from the kids, but she can't get to bed. Oh, thanks, you angel. Please get in. What's your name? Loario. We absolutely love him. Ru oh my gosh. 
I'm sorry, Lou, but you're gonna have to feed this child. We can't afford to let any of them go because they will cause wreck and havoc upon this world. They will. So please don't let them be taken away. Please don't. Look at Zev being a peaceful sheep. Look at him just having a little sleep and fed. Oh God, please shut up. Shut up. Shut up, please. Thank you. But I'm actually going to do some mischievous interactions with Lou. Why don't we have a nice time outside, okay? Why don't we have a nice time outside? Come on, let's go outside. Out from the whole trouble. Let the Wario take care of them, okay? Ooh, he's going to bed. <laughs> Babes, we are having a date. Please come outside. I know you're tired, but please do your mischievous interactions because we need to insult feeble nature. Ooh, we need to do mischievous interactions. Six and a half hours later. We walked into this parenting thing. We thought it would never happen. We thought we would never get some sleep, but we are finally getting some rest. Your eyes are still open, by the way. For some reason, this angel of a man is able to keep them shut for a while. Although he is not taking well to Fen, but he manages to keep them shut. Luario Osage is our nanny. Yes, he is pretty cool. He's an absolute angel taking care of our four kids. This probably requires more than one nanny but he manages to do everything he's just absolutely perfect and she i'm gonna invite you are coming over because we are making you werewolves today and nancy's here looking like a full lou is going to work naked by the way but he's going to the bar to perform so it doesn't really matter but look at her she came prepared she knows what's going on lou is off to work yes bring us home some monies thank you very much work hard let's attempt similar communication babes what are you doing get up from that oh <gasps> it's almost rudy's birthday it's almost Fen's birthday, almost Otsana's birthday, and it's almost Zev's birthday. But I'm gonna get her to transform her right away. I'm not gonna spare the pleasant trees. Werewolf. We can give her the cursed bite immediately. We don't have to tell her what's going on. We can just give her the cursed bite. Candy Bear has asked me on a date. Uh, okay, Wolfgang. Yes, go for it. That's not Simlish communication. Just give her the bite and let's move on because I do not want to stand next to Rudy for one more second. Ooh. Ooh, look at Nancy trying to communicate with werewolves. Uh, maybe she does want this. Ooh. We gave her the bites. And that does it. Turn one sim into a werewolf. So we have two more to go. And let's just fix up the relationship, okay? Let's talk to you a bunch. Let's discuss work. You won't even notice it when it comes by. It's just a couple rampages per week, you know. It's nothing much. Let's tell you about the wolf fan, the wild fang. Let's tell her that it's not that bad when you think about it. It's not that bad, actually. Declare wild fangs are the superior pack. Let's discourage her from going over to the Moonwood Collective. Pick a feral pool. Nancy, the deed is done. Goodbye, God bless. Go home. And she's screaming and running. And she's scared because Nancy screamed at her. So that was weird. But it is finally time that we go over to see Rory. Yes, and she is in the pack hangout. So let's go over and meet her and see what this punishment is about. Hey, babes, would you mind explaining what this whole punishment is about? Because we just had a child, okay? We just had a child. With the way you've been acting, I have to give you a penalty to your pack rank. I know this isn't a fun conversation for either of us but when you're a part of the pack you have to act like that so she gave us a penalty so i think this reduced but that was literally it so goodbye because we have kids to take care of actually and as usual they are screaming at the top of their lungs and surprisingly rudy isn't so that's quite good let's feed them and change some diapers change a lot of diapers it's loario wait what Okay, he wants to be best friends. I'm gonna say no. Ooh, what was that? We feel creeped out by him. Luna didn't think that Lorai was that level of best friends yet. Maybe some space will help. And he dejected about rejection. We do find him very attractive though. But he just came over. Is he going to help us with the kids? Because we would, we would really appreciate that. And look at him, an absolute angel. Helping us with the kids even when we're not paying him. Look at Lou making... Ooh, and he got a promotion. Promoted to open mic seeker. And we now got a bonus of 451 simoleons. Let's try with Rudy next. Let's try... I'm gonna stack these up because by the time he gets up here and listens to their crying he's going to get difficult feelings i i'm sure of it babes no that is way too much okay a few moments later babes no but oh, you know what i'm just gonna accept it so you get off my back of course we are best friends now okay oh i'm so happy Aww. now i feel bad for rejecting him we have to achieve level two guitar or violin skill okay <laughs> okay Ooh. 
and Fen just howled. I think he's also a werewolf. So I think we're sure of these two being werewolves, but we're not sure if Rudy or Zev are werewolves. But we will see because we are going to be aging them up tomorrow. I've been trying to get him to bond with them, but it is taking so much work. So I'm gonna get to call Rory around. Oh, she's already around. Babes, just come over. Because I want to leave the wild fangs with Lou, as I said. He was also called, so I'm gonna get him to report to her. And I absolutely love this man. Like, look at him just staying over time and helping us take care of these kids. I absolutely love him. And you only brought 62. I mean, you are trying your best, but I guess you can't control your rampages. So, babes, you can have your whole rampage. And sadly, Loario has left us to our job of taking care of our own kids. We hate to see him leave. To hopefully motivate you to do better in the future, now show us you can. Babes, I'm going to show you exactly the opposite, and I'm going to tell you that I am leaving the wild fangs. Ooh, I see. Would you mind telling me why you want to leave? Um... No, we're not going to take the kid. I feel like he's kind of okay with being a werewolf. But I'm going to say pack life is just for... Not not for me. Ooh! Lou just received the full pack mate gift. He... She just gave us a moon petal? Yeah, I get it. The, that lone wolf lifestyle can be pretty appealing. Don't sweat it. And what new as, um sentiment do we get? Wolfy warmth. Lou has felt the wolfy warmth of companionship with his packmate Rory and really enjoys her company. He finds her very attractive, by the way. Let me just point that out. But let's go home because we are about to have a horror rampage. Oh god, Luna is smashing the house. It took a bit of time, but Lou is now finally accepted Fen. And it is Saturday, so it is the quadruple duplets birthdays today finally i think we have done it he's also finally accepted rudy and he's also finally accepted otsana otsana was a bit harder it took a lot of interacting and now their relationship is really high and she's the closest to him amongst all the kids so i think that's pretty cool but i'm gonna wait till luna is having done with her rampage before we finally age these toddlers up luna is done with her rampage i don't know why she's angry but let's go ahead and age rudy up. It was nice while it lasted, but let's have toddlers now. And I feel like Rudy was the rowdiest of them, so let's roll. And immediately we got fussy. It has to be Rudy. But Fern is also aged up. Charmer, maybe. I'm not really sure. Independence, I think so. I think he was the one who needed less work. So I'm gonna give him independence. Otsana, inquisitive. Um, maybe, maybe. I kind of see it. Let's give her inquisitive. Ooh, and she has white hair. I was actually trying really hard to pronounce her name so i wanted to change her name to moon her having right now has given me the go ahead i'm going to change her name to moon let's go ahead and age the last one up wild yes definitely wild zev is definitely wild and he also has white hair and they are already angry moon madness from being a werewolf during a full moon although not quite yet a full-fledged werewolf fanny still feels the agonizing influence of the moon so i'm excited to see who is a werewolf and who is not let's go ahead and modify them in cars i'm gonna start off with rudy oh <gasps> It's Rudy. Rudy's not a werewolf. The plot thickens. So this is Wolf before. And this is Rudy after a bit of a makeover. I give him more of an aggressive look. Which is quite interesting because he is actually not a werewolf. I feel like this is going to impact his life a lot. Since he's actually the first. So he's meant to be like kind of a leader. But he's actually not a werewolf. So we are going to see how that takes him. But I think he looks absolutely adorable. Next we have Fen. So this is Fen before and here is fen after he has a more innocent look and i think he looks exactly like lou i don't know how i can see it but that is lou as a child and i also want to check if they have new teethy options no they do not but it would be really nice if they had new teethy options let's move on to otsana who is also a werewolf and she has white hair so i'm actually going to change her name right now to moon because I did see it on that website and it was kind of cool. She has white hair. So this is Moon before. And this is Moon after. No, this is not her after. This is not the hair I gave you. And you changed your eyes. That doesn't actually look bad. I kind of gave her brown eyes because I thought it looked great. But the eyes she's gone for, she actually looks absolutely amazing. But then I remembered that we had this whole cute thing that came with the werewolf pack. And I was like, why are you not putting that on? And I realized I was doing all that on cold weather outfits. So I'm going to have to do that again. And last of all, we have Zev, who also got white hair, but more blonde than white. And I think that kind of makes sense because the whole, the whole werewolves have like a lot of long 
law behind it i'm not really going to go into it but i read about it and i also watched some videos and it has something to do with like moon casters like they came from spell casters so it kind of makes sense that they have white hair i think maybe the white hair comes from that so this is zev before and this is zev after and of course i have shoved all of them in this little cute rig out and i give him this kind of wild look because he has the wild trait and look at him he looks like a mini jack frost he looks absolutely adorable so we have rudy non-werewolf and then we have fenrir friend friend i still can't pronounce that name ben and he is also really adorable and then we have otsana who has white hair with the whole mooncaster situation and then last of all we have zev dev zevity zev zev and here we are in game of four toddlers i do not understand how i meant to do this but we will try i do not know why moon is shirtless maybe because i have not edited their other outfit and they are all angry from being a werewolf during a full moon so they are all having moonwood ma moonwood madness they are all having moon mood what they are all having mood madness but rudy is not having mood madness he's actually sad from meeting his new siblings but instead i'm gonna go down here i moved the bed down here so they could get some night sleep because the, the kids were they were not letting them sleep so i'm gonna move their bed back up and i'm gonna design their new nursery and i also got some new toddler items that i would really like to try out so this is going to be really exciting okay i am done that is a lot you are seeing a lot i got a bunch of stuff for toddlers this is from the fabulously filthy it's like a dollhouse but it kind of looks like it's run down and i absolutely love it because it kind of fits the werewolf aesthetic and then i have a bunch of other stuff we also have a toddler crafting station because it just didn't make sense that the toddlers didn't have the crafting station and this is the room this is my absolute favorite object from the pack this like cool paintings on the walls i have this moon one over here the wolf one and i also have these mounting ones over there and i love this cute little lamp that's kind of looks like it has been sewn together i'm just absolutely in love with all the items that came with this pack but i just checked and i saw that he has a trait dormant wolf the wolf sleeps soundly within rudy what would it take to reawaken so i think there's actually a way that he can like bring out his werewolf side but for now he can't so that is it i'm gonna leave you with this sad boy sad child because he might be sad about it he might also be happy that he's not a wolf we will see in the next episode so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe and while you're in the clicking mode consider following my socials on screen or in the description and i will see you guys in the next video good damn bye